In this video we're going to show you building a dictionary from a SQL table of components. So essentially we want to <clears throat> create a dictionary of the database components and make it available for the drag and drop. So in practice what we're going to do is uh, drag and drop from the SQL table into a template and then build the dictionary from that. So we're going to show you these uh, three steps. So first of all, we have to create a new template that's uh, just empty. And here we're going to um, pick some Rx uh, medical details and just name that Rx demo. So we've uh, created a root component now and an empty dictionary. So the next step is we use the database browser connect to our SQL database, uh, put in our, our root password, and now you can see the actual database and the tables in the uh, browser here. And you can see we've got three tables, uh, patient, uh, master, prescriptions, and drug details. Next thing we have to do is switch from mapping mode to designer mode. And then in designer mode, we can grab each table in turn and simply drag and drop them onto the root element. And you can see that the uh, tool is creating components and using uh, camel case to rename the SQL components uh, to XML uh, components. So now we have the three tables. We can go ahead and save this table template and then we can optionally rename uh, these so uh, <clears throat> we want to call this rx drug details and so on you can obviously go ahead and and uh, uh, create different names for things and and uh, so forth now once we're done we can then use the dictionary tools to create the dictionary of the components in this uh, template. So I'm going to give the source name Rx tables, and now filtering. What this does is remove uh, uh, extraneous SQL rules. So <clears throat> you probably want to go ahead and do that. And so uh, this is completed. We can scroll up and see that we've created uh, the dictionary with 36 elements in. And now we can go ahead and actually use the dictionary. So we can manage our dictionaries here, uh, create a new control file, give it a name, and now uh, give it a description, and then add the demo dictionary that we created. Set that as our default collection going to save it for us, set it as the default, and now we can go ahead and actually look in the dictionary browser here, and we can see that our uh, collection has been added, and that we have the tables in here with the different components, which we can then go ahead and build new XML uh, templates and exchanges with. 